Hello, I'm United States Army Major Devin Callahan, and today I'd like to share with you some research that we're working on here at the West Point Network Science Center regarding shaping and attacking terrorist networks. In this example, we see a very simple network where the leader of a terrorist organization is represented by the central node. If we remove the leader, we successfully defeated the network. In this example, we, have, we see an actual organization of an Al-Qaeda terrorist cell from the late 1990s. Because of the complex structure of this network, terrorists can easily replace most of their leaders after a leadership strike. In 2006, the United States forces learned this firsthand with then Al-Qaeda leader Zarqawi. He was, ter he was targeted with a precision strike in northern Iraq. Only two weeks later, he was replaced with Masiri. We argue that if the network were shaped first to become more star-like, then perhaps this replacement of the leadership would not have been so easily done. In our research, we use degree centrality to determine the star likeness of the network. We also provide an algorithm that determines which individuals we should target in a shaping operation to make the network more star like, thus, more susceptible to a future leadership strike. Key to this idea is the fact that we're using a characteristic of the network rather than a characteristic of an individual node to determine how to shape the network. We then tested our algorithm against several real-world terrorist network data sets, including the Al-Qaeda cell that was responsible for the bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Tanzania. So here is that network. You'll see over a few iterations of selecting nodes to remove that the network is driven to a more star-like structure. And there we see the end result of a very star-like structure now prepared for a leadership strike. We also compared our approach to several other approaches or techniques from social network analysis, such as top degree, top closeness, and top betweenness. And you'll see that our method significantly outperforms the other methods as far as preparing the network, uh, and making it more vulnerable to lead leadership strike. Uh, further, we, we would like to mention that we noticed that without this preparation prior to a leadership strike, the network actually became more resilient because it forced the network to become more decentralized by removing nodes, thus making it more difficult or more resilient to leadership strikes. So for more information on this work, please feel free to visit our website and download the paper in its entirety or visit the 2012 ASE Conference on Social Informatics in Washington, D.C. this December. We'd like to thank our sponsors at the Army Research Organization for their support.